Should you pay for a paper guide or just use Notebook LM for free? Well, in this video, I'm going to compare these two AI research assistants so you know which is best for you. Now, I've been collecting tons of my favorite AI tools in this Notion spreadsheet. Now, if you want access to this free doc, click the link in my description below. I've been adding new tools to this on a regular basis, so you definitely want to check this spreadsheet out. Now, if you are comparing between Afri and Paper Guide, Afri is also an AI research assistant, you just don't know which one is best for you, fill out this quick five question quiz and it will help you determine which of these two tools are best for your use case. Now, Notebook LM is by Google and it is completely free. Now, it works by you uploading documents and it organizes it into various uh, notebooks. So this is one notebook I created and I uploaded nine PDFs from Search Engine Journal. Um, they're SEO marketing related uh, white papers. So to upload a source, just click on this button right here. You can drag and drop your file right here. And the file types that they support are PDFs, text files, markdowns, and also audio files. You can also connect your Google Drive. You can add any website link or YouTube links as well, including copying and pasting text onto here. Now, one thing to note is that the source limit is only 50. So you can only upload 50 sources per notebook. So once you've uploaded all of your sources, you can either select all of them and start chatting or selecting the ones you want to chat with and add your prompt at the bottom right here. So let's just select all of my sources and I can say something like, what should I do if my traffic drops? Now, all of these white papers are SEO digital marketing related. So I'm asking a very relevant question and I'm going to click on enter. And now the AI is referencing all of these sources to provide me with an answer. Okay, here we go. So it says a decline in traffic can stem from various factors, website specific issues, search engine algorithm updates, so on and so forth. And Notebook LM also provides us with the source as well. So if you click on any of the numbers, it'll jump to that specific PDF and highlight the exact text that it referenced. So now you can double check what it's um, taking a look at and you can read by yourself to provide you yourself with some additional information. And as you are reading the article on the left hand side, you can highlight any text and then you'll see these pills right here. It says suggest related ideas, summarize into a note, add to a note or help me understand. So let's just select this whole section right here and I want to summarize it into a note. So now I'm going to exit this uh, chat window and it is right here. Summary of quote from this document. I can click on it and take a look of the summary. Now, one thing to be aware of is that Notebook LM only pulls the actual text. In terms of the images and the layout of the PDF, um, clearly you cannot actually read the PDF as it was designed. You could only read the text that, that's pulled from the PDF. Now, aside from chatting, you can also save various things into notes like I just showed you. Now, if I go back to chat mode, for this response here, in terms of what I should do if my traffic drops, I could turn this entire response into a note by clicking Save to Note. And it is right here, so I can refer to this at a later date. And if I want, I can turn this note into a source. Okay, so I can click on Convert Selected Notes to Source, and it is right here at the bottom. So now I can chat and Notebook LM will reference not only the PDFs, but also the notes that I've added as well. Now, there are other really cool things about Notebook LM. So if I click on Notebook Guide, there are some predefined actions here like help me create an FAQ, a study guide, a table of contents, even a timeline and a briefing doc. It also provides me with a summary of all of the sources. And what's really cool is that I can turn all of my sources into a podcast. So this is a great way to consume information, um, particularly if you don't like to read or if you want to get the quick nuggets in a very condensed way just by listening. This is a great feature. Now let me click on load and let me play a little bit 
for you. All right, now let me click Welcome on play. Welcome to the deep dive, everybody. We're going deep into SEO and content marketing today. Sounds good. So uh, we've got tons of articles and guides, expert insights, all that good stuff. And to help us... So it's just like a podcast. Now let me go towards the middle here. As we go. Exactly. Content marketing is never really finished. You're always learning and tweaking. Makes sense. So you sent over some case studies of companies killing it with content marketing. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorites? Manhattan Mini Storage is a great example. So a really great way to consume information um, audibly. And Notebook LM also provides you with some suggested questions like how does user experience impact content marketing success? What SEO strategies best support content marketing goes and so forth. Now let's go to uh, paper guide. So there are a lot of similarities, but also tons of differences. So the first thing you would do is upload um, your documents. So if you go to references here, you can add papers by uploading a URL, search papers online, upload files, and so forth. And you can also organize your papers into various uh, folders like this. So I think you could consider a folder very similar to a notebook, right? So it's a notebook of various documents. So this is, you know, a folder of various documents as well. So I uploaded my nine search engine journal white papers right here, and I can chat with any of these papers. Now, one thing to note is that it needs to be a PDF, okay? Even if you upload a website, Paper Guide will turn that website into a PDF for you to chat with. But if it can't turn it into a PDF, then you cannot chat with the paper. Okay, so I can click on, you know, this one and then click on chat with paper. Okay, so this is my PDF. And as you could see, I could see the exact design, the images and read the PDF as really it should be consumed. But on notebook, it's only the text that you can really take a look at like this. But on paper guide, you could actually read the PDF as it was designed. And now you can answer or ask any questions on the right hand side, like say, give me a summary and paper guide will provide you with a summary of this PDF. Okay, here we go. So it provided us with a summary. So this is the introduction and key sections of the PDF. You can also ask for the methodology, any limitations in the research, key findings, uh, so on and so forth, and some pre-built questions uh, that you can ask about this document. Now you can chat with multiple documents, but I've tried doing that. So if you click on new chat, click on my references, then go to your folder, then click on select all, then click on continue. I ask it some questions, but I don't think it could properly read all of your documents and provide you with a nice response. Like I asked it to summarize all of the nine um, PDFs, um, but it provided me just with a response just for the first PDF. So keep that in mind. Um, this tool is better just to chat with one PDF or one document at a time. Now, aside from chatting, you can do your research in the My Workbooks section. Now, this one is one of my favorite features of Paper Guide, and there's a few ways you can do research with the My Workbooks section. So you can find and analyze research papers, discover, analyze, and synthesize academic literature with AI assistance. So you could do AI search very similar to Google search. So you ask it a question and it'll pull from the millions of research papers that Paper Guide has and provides you with an answer. So I can say something like, what's, what is SEO? And this is the answer from top relevant papers. And these are all of the references. And you can also do a literature review. So let's just try to ask that same question. And let's see uh, what it finds. Okay, so this is the summary from eight papers. So it listed out those papers, but it also provides us with these additional insights in additional columns here. So this is the insights column. So this is an AI insight of this paper. Now on the right hand side, you can add additional columns like TLDR, summary, key findings, so on and so forth. So this is a great way to do high level research on a wide variety of documents all at once. So this is doing academic research on steroids, right? Because you can view all of the short summaries of each document, just taking a look at this single column. 
Now let me show you how you can do that with the files that I've uploaded. So if you go to Extract Data, click on My References, and let's go to the SEJ White Papers folder, select all. And one thing to note is that you have 100 papers selected, so you could only analyze 100 papers. Now let's click on Extract Data. Okay, so these are all of my PDFs, and now I can maybe check out the insights for each one of the documents, check out the summary, so on and so forth. So I could use AI to do research at a glance just in this single window. So once you are done doing research, then you can write. So if you go to the writer, click on new document. And I really like paper guide because not only does it help you with research, but it also helps you with writing. Now that's very different than notebook LM, right? Because you don't really write your articles here. You just basically do research and ask the chat anything you want. But with paper guide, you also can write inside the tool. Now I just need to tell paper guide what I'm writing how to do SEO for a local business if you have a tight budget. And Paper Guide also guides you, so this is a moderate prompt. Good start, adding more details could improve results. So you can edit the prompt. You can also choose from different languages that you want it to generate, and also the citation style. And in terms of the AI knowledge source, you can select public research database, my references, or both. Now let me do both, then click on generate outline. Okay, so this is the outline that Paper Guide generated. If you like it, you can click on Add Outline or you can have it generate another outline. Now let me click on Add Outline. Okay, so now I can start writing my research paper. Now I can manually write or I can have the AI write for me. So for this first section, the importance of local SEO for small businesses, I can click on Ask AI and click on Continue Writing. Okay, so this is the paragraph that it generated. So I can accept it or have it provide me with another suggestion. So I'm gonna click on accept. Not only did it generate text, but also, but also cited a report uh, that it found online. I can also highlight this text. I can add a link and format it however I want. And when it comes to citing, let's say for example, I wrote this, I can click on cite right here and pick from any of my references that I've uploaded or research uh, database. Now let's just say I want to cite this article. I can click on cite and then it'll be added right over here. Now I can also humanize this text as well. So if I'm doing this for school and I don't want my professor to know that I'm using AI, I can highlight the text ask AI and then click on humanize. So the AI will humanize the text that it generated. So it sounds more like I personally wrote this article. All right, and here is that humanized text. Now I'm going to click on enter. All right, and we are done. Now we can um, export this into a docx. We can also take a look at the document settings. And we can also check for plagiarism as well, just to make sure that we aren't copying um, anything online. This one will analyze my text and give me a plagiarism score. And it says minimal similarity, mostly original content, which is great. And there's also the uh, reference manager. So these are all of um, the papers that I've uploaded, the SEJ white papers I can see right here. So I can click on cite to add the citation as I'm writing my article. And what I could also do is click on it, view the bibliography, check out an AI summary, so let's just say I want to generate the key concepts of that particular PDF. And it lists out all of the key concepts right over here. And if you click on any one of them, it'll open up a Wikipedia article where you can do additional uh, research. And if you've added any notes, you can view your notes right here. You could view the actual document, which is great because as you are writing, you could read the document and then continue writing, so on and so forth. You can view the PDF or download the PDF, and you could also check for some additional information about this file you've uploaded. Okay, so as you could see, Paper Guide is really focused on not just researching, but also writing your paper. And on the other hand, with Notebook LM, it's primarily just doing research from the sources you upload to it. So you can't write your paper inside Notebook LM. You basically just do your research 
and then you would need to write your paper elsewhere. That's if you are writing a paper. But with Paper Guide, this is primarily for more academic research. If you are in school and you need to write an article, do research, you could do all of that inside Paper Guide. Now for me, I'm no longer in school and I don't really do this type of research. Um, so I would use um, Notebook LM to do more of that quick and dirty research. You know, like if I have all of these PDF uh, documents right here and I want to ask some questions about them or listen to the audio version of them, I could use Notebook LM to consume all of this data in a much more easier way for me. But if you want to do much more heavy research, write papers, then of course Paper Guide would be your best bet. Now if you are interested in Paper Guide, you can purchase the lifetime deal on AppSumo for only a couple of days as of this recording. You do have access to the advanced AI models, so GPT-4, 4.0, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. These are the three license tiers you can choose from. I recommend tier two because it does unlock the unlimited AI writer content humanizer and unlimited AI writer plagiarism checks. Now comparing this with Notebook LM, it does use Google's AI. And keep in mind that this is free, so you could use this um, however you want to use it. But again, you cannot write your articles in here. You could just do more of that quick and dirty research while Paper Guide is a lot more formal. And if you are comparing between Paper Guide and AFRI, don't forget to complete the short five question quiz by clicking the link in my description. It'll tell you which of these two tools are right for your use case. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button to let me know. Also, subscribe to my channel and click on any of the videos on the screen to watch more. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.